the edge. But there is no honest way to explain it, because the only people who really know where it is are the ones who have gone over it. That was a quote from one Hunter S. Thompson, a uh, personal favorite author of mine, and the uh, and he who wrote Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, uh, um, the book uh, from which I was uh, I promised to read the first passage of at the beginning of this <clears throat> broadcast, but I'm still not entirely sure um, <laughs> if I can do that. I mean, I really don't know. I mean, seeing as how Fear and Loathing is a very old book at this point, and its author is, you know, no longer with us, unfortunately, uh, I still don't think I should do it. I mean, I'm not really expecting Ralph Steadman to break down my door with a flamethrower, but, you know, better safe. Although, <clears throat> I am thinking of doing quotes like that. Perhaps on a daily ba- er, mm, not daily basis, but relatively frequently. I like the idea of it. Also, if my voice sounds a bit weird, uh, I'm doing this broadcast uh, very late at night, and uh, I really do not wish to wake anybody up. So that is why it is very quiet. So, uh, also this, uh, good, good, good. <laughs> this broadcast will be short, if anything. Huh. Um, hmm, what is new? Oh, I just uh, started watching that. N There's the way. I just started watching that uh, new uh, show that was made by Netflix, uh, the uh, <clears throat> uh, Marco Polo, about Marco Polo and during his time uh, in China, uh, in service of Kublai Khan. Uh, Kublai Khan. Uh, yeah personal favorite historical figure of mine, uh, because he was a character in the, uh, this is the way, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, in a very, very good poem by Stephen Coolridge, uh, entitled Kublai Khan. You know, it's a, it's a long, long poem, so I'm sure as hell not, uh, reciting it for you here, but it, you know, it's like, uh, in Xanadu did Kublai Khan a stately pleasure dome to cry. Uh, and it is also the, uh, the inspiration for a kick-ass Rush song entitled Xanadu. So, uh, Kublai Khan, you are all right in my book. Oh, shit. Can I get through here? No, I cannot. Uh, the book... Er, no, sorry. Uh, the... The show is good in a very much attempting to be Game of Thrones kind of way, but, you know, there are worse things to take as inspiration. Uh, however, for the, an inexplicable reason, uh, they occasionally break out into almost Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon style Kung Fu shenanigans. Oh, good evening. Uh, and yes, Rush is fantastic. They are, I believe I can say this unabashedly, my favorite band in the world. Uh, good, Fox. Maybe you want to help me? Hmm. I'm not. Oh, yeah. It, it is evening, isn't it? It is late in the evening. Ah. Uh, which is why my voice sounds so stupid and low right now. 
everybody's, uh, people are sleeping so close to me I can practically hear them snoring. One of them like a freight train. Wow, I really cannot make any shots. It is, uh, it is d during this sequence that I realized that I, I, I never could have made it in the NBA. Maybe I can latch onto him. Brilliant. Huh. All right. Oh, I see what's going on here. Okay. Oh, I don't. I don't mean to. Uh, I my voice is not usually like this. Uh, it has been described by those who have never heard a very pleasant voice as audible chocolate, but I'm I'm calling bullshit of the nth degree. Anyway. <laughs> I think this is going to be one of those puzzles which I solve by accident. No. Return to the small child. Huh. Maybe... Huh. And press jump and back. But I won't go that far. Oh no, I do have to make... Oh wow! Looks like I wasn't just projecting when I was talking of, you know, basketball dreams. Shit. No, don't you fucking jump after me. I worked so goddamn hard to get you up here. Okay. Actually, I'm not entirely sure that the fox would be that mean. Actually, I don't really know what the fox says. Oh, fuck. I... I'm sorry. I didn't mean... I didn't mean that. Actually, I did learn something very strange about that, uh, about that particular music video. Foxes do make a, va a vast array of very strange sounds, which are actually being mimicked by the musicians, <laughs> uh, during that, uh, song. So, what the fox says is actually, you know, all of those random sounds like, da -da 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 and so forth. Um, not that I really have a point to that. Uh, <laughs> I'm just a fan of spewing knowledge. There comes a point where everybody that I, uh, that I come in contact to has, like, like a one, um, like a one fact over the limit, where they just go, alright, asshole, that's enough. Um... I actually hit that with somebody today. Um, I told them what a buttload was. Um, all right, well, a, a, a buttload, um, a butt is actually a, a French unit of measurement for wine, and a buttload is 126 gallons of wine stored in uh, in wooden barrels. And upon saying that, somebody gave me the a look that could freeze water. I have. <laughs> It was just, all right, asshole. That's, that's really enough of that. All right, tag out, you're going in. Good, all right, I feel like we've done good works there. Are those, are those spikes? I really'd rather not impale my fleshy but oh clever <sighs> I like it <laughs> yeah I mean to reiterate what I said during the last episode I really don't get 
what it is with, uh... I suppose it's not really a new idea, but in lots of children's media... That, um... <clears throat> there is... You know, it's like a jaunty, you know, child's adventure. That's not good. Well, there you go. A jaunty children's adventure, learning something about yourself and saving the world. However, there is the imminent threat of gruesome death. <sighs> hmm. What is to be... Oh, I see. We are meant to be separated. Oh, God. Childhood memories of being unable to grab cereal boxes off the high shelf, flooding back. Go. That's the way. Alright, I've gotten used to this whole buddy system thing. Alright, I'm sure there must be a... yep. I still... I still do like this game. However, I have the feeling that, uh, the answer to my problems, to every puzzle, is... spirits. <laughs> Having some trouble? Have you checked for some spirits? Can I not... Check for spirits, throw blue at the thing. I am... I am lucky you can swim. Ah. Hmm, that was my chance to give you a silly name, and I squandered it. Oh, what is the name of that s silly robotic uh, owl from the Clash of the Titans original original movie? Not the very strange Liam Neeson. Oh, whoa! Oh. That's something that's alive. A an anemone of some kind? Oh, God. I, uh... <sighs> Things that could kill me easily, just out of sight, in the water. That's... That's all my fears in one thing. Oh, and there's another one. Good. And see here, if I ever became an evil genius, my doomsday device would be something to freeze the world. So it would kill all the more dangerous plant li or animal life in the ocean. But here I am. In my ideal... Uh... There we go. Uh, come on! Uh, in my ideal setting, and there's... Deadly shit anyway! seems impervious. And I cannot throw anything while in the water. So what do we do? Right. Check for spirits. There's always spirits. Hmm. Oh, you, uh... Yeah, the polar bears are. Well, I'm food. I am on the food chain. So, if I was a polar bear and I saw me, I would... Oh, man. I'd gobble them up like candy. Alright, that, that will get me nowhere.
also, um, well, just to show how green I still am at the whole Twitch biz, biz and niz, um, I do have a bit of a, uh, oh shit. Okay, what is to be, oh, that's right, you will follow me. Um. Oh, you cannot speak English, but you write English very well. Unless you are using Google Translate, in which case you are using Google Translate like a champion. It doesn't really matter. I appreciate the thought, nonetheless. Um. Anyway. Ah, oh, damn. Oh. Oh no. Hey, um... Did we just enter the Twilight Zone? Oh, we did. This could be... <laughs> this could be seriously problematic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the honeymoon period is over for this video game. Now we have to start critiquing it seriously, because I actually, I think, there's nothing I can do. There's no recourse. I'm, I have to just restart from a checkpoint. Good. We will talk about this later. Ah, oh, I've got to do all this shenanigans again. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Why is it that you swim so slowly when you're just on the surface? I clearly remember a sequence where we were being chased by a polar bear where you could haul ass like it was your job. Yep. Alright. Come along. Ah. Another cracking shot. This can only end well. Alright. If I was designing, like, a book, or like a safety pamphlet, or like a PSA for children, this would be... maybe not number one, but definitely within the top five things not to ever do. Yeah, see? <laughs> Don't come crying to me when you... I was about to say suffocate, but, uh, but drown. Oh, fuck, that's right, we were in a whale! Alright, that's what happened in Finding Nemo. So, I will count that as three things that happened in Disney movies. And I don't care if, uh, if Finding Nemo is Pixar. I literally could not care less. And I'm counting Swallowed by Whale and Blown Out Blowhole as two. Because I am a douchebag and can do whatever I like. Oh, God. This, this weather right here. The fast moving snow, so it's just a little bit of wind. It's not an impressive amount of wind, but it's constant and it's just blowing snow in your face. Is absolutely the worst weather to have wet clothes in. And we were just exploded from outside. No, we were exploded out of a whale. Oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> I, uh, I want to say 
I did this for you. The, the words, we had a whale of a time, tried to leave my mouth, but I forced it back in. Like, uh... <laughs> like somebody who almost barfs at, like, a family reunion. I did that shit for you. I kept that inside. You can never say I don't try. <laughs> All right, well, I guess it's story time. So, at a family function... Uh, ah, well, Jesus, what did I expect? Uh, at a family function, the wedding of a relative of mine... Is the fox going to be heavy enough to put this down? Yes, okay. Uh, <laughs> I got oppressively drunk. And it was still a few uh, years ago, so I was not of the legal age. I was damn close, but it it's still, uh, still not kosher in the eyes of the law. Okay, so, um, it was one of those, uh, it was one of those times when, uh, you drink not because you want to, but because it's an activity. You're like, all right. No one else is, uh, I don't really know anybody here. Nobody is really talking to me because pff, they all know each other. I have absolutely no reason to be here outside of the fact that I happen to be related to the groom. So, oh, what's this? A white Russian? Sure, I'll put it in my face. Oh, six more? Of course. Just please, anything to keep me from talking. Ah. Uh, it is at that point that you realize that many, <laughs> uh, multiple white Russians have gone uh, past, and of course I'm not a huge fan of white Russians, but <laughs> who's gonna turn down a free drink? Uh, I am not. I'm not a monster. I won't turn down a free drink. Uh, uh for those of you... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, or are just better people than me, um, I am what's known as an asshole. And I only drink Irish whiskey. Uh, you know, given my choice. Uh, but, um, anyway, uh, I was the type of drunk that, uh, you know, denounced belligerence almost immediately when you just could see me from across the room. But, uh, I fortunately am very nice guy belligerent when it comes to alcohol. So, I was talking... <laughs> um, I take it as a personal failing that I'm not a very close with my extended family. Like, I have aunts and uncles that I probably could count the words that we've spoken to each other on one hand. And that's nobody's fault but mine. I mean, I... <laughs> uh... I have cooked Thanksgiving dinner for them consistently for multiple years, and uh, I've sat across the table for them, and the, di <laughs> the dialogue went, this is really good. Oh yeah, thanks, I made it myself. I started this morning. Oh really, Mao, you're good at cooking. Thank you. Ah! Ooh, they're personifying the Aurora. The Aurora Borealis. Very cool. Anyway, I don't really know if there's an end to this story because... I just... I think I just kind of wanted to tell you guys about a time that I got super drunk. There's no... There's no, uh... There's no punchline to this story because there's no, like, one thing that I did that was so outrageous that it just kind of, like, ended the night for me. Like, you know, everybody has that one kind of story where they're, like, where they got accidentally got too drunk and they're talking to, like, their rich aunt or rich uncle, and all of a sudden they're like, hey, yeah, I, I really, I'll, I'll, I'll love you guys, you guys, and just, like, vomit all over their $10,000 shoes. I don't, I don't have anything like that. Um, I suppose all that story really did was say, <laughs> oh, God, no. I thought they were on my side. The fucking sky is carnivorous now. Oh, that was two, that was a special two type of death. All right, here we go. Ugh. 
you... No? Of... Mm. Hmm. Yes, thank you, Fox Spirit. When I'm being digested by the sky, I'll remember, uh, I'll see you going, Ah, shit. She was nice. And think, uh, oh, that's nice. He cares, at least. Alright. Oh, shit! Uh... Mm. Let's let's hide a little deeper into this cave. Man, everything wants to kill this poor kid. What do I do? <gasps> okay. Ah, I see the way. We now have to go back through to the left. No. D hmm. Interesting. Okay, no, we can do this. Alright, so I can't go too far to the left, or else my, uh, my Inuit friend. I'm very hope- very much hoping that she's actually Inuit. Uh. Because I'm pretty sure... Maybe? Uh, if I go too far to the left, she will jump on her own into the open maw of the Aurora. So, we're going to avoid that. There we go. Can I climb up all the way? Yes, I can. Alright. Oh, man. Ah. <sighs> That reeks of progress. Here we go. <laughs> and back up to the right. Good. N now what? Shit. What is to be done now? Can I even hurt the sky? No, I cannot. Alright, let's see what... Can the fox do anything? I'm pretty sure that's... That's death if I try to jump that. However... Pray to anyone who's watching who was expecting progress to be made in the next ten minutes. I'm going for it. <gasps> Shit! Oh. even trying to get to the left. I was trying to get to the right. It's just that this interesting little shit over here... What are you doing? Uh, you know, confused me. Oh yeah, I actually, I love... I actually haven't really stopped gushing about the art style of this game. Uh... Oh, yeah, see, all that was over there was just a checkpoint. Or a bird of some kind. Oh, the bird is not a checkpoint, but it's those cultural insights that I've yet to look into. Alright. Let's continue forever onward. Because this is a video game, which means our goal lies to the right. Come along. 
Or don't. Alright. That one... <laughs> that one was absolutely my fault. And I won't say that this, uh, like, the way the game feel or the way that this game controls is causing me to have, you know, one or two more deaths than I thought I would. But it is definitely difficult to get the hang of, if that makes any sense. It is awkward. I suppose in a... Well, it's, it's not very awkward. It just kind of feels like uh, it's not quite as tight as, uh, as other games. It definitely feels like a... Although... Um, oh, let's, let's let him go around one more time. You suck! This, uh, this attempt at the Doppler effect brought to you by Austin. Alright. This, this is the jump. It's for all the marbles. Good. Good dog? You're a dog, right? Foxes are dogs. Shit! <clears throat> I wasn't scared. Oh god, I hate m mistakes were made. <laughs> what an asshole thing to say. Well, I th there are people, you know, those kind of people who won't say I made a mistake, but mistakes were made. Or you were, of course, implying that I would <laughs> say that uh, mistakes were made. Oh, yeah. Um, I love stories that are based on, uh, on, you know, folklore. Uh, and this just so happens to be, you know, a culture whose stories I really do not... I'm not familiar with. Which I suppose is, you know, no one's fault but my own. I... I'm an idiot. This has become traversable. Quickly, before it returns! It hungers for little girl flesh. Come on, motor. Put your back into it. <laughs> you, you run on all cylinders. You have at least one fox power. Use it. No, he wouldn't get me while I'm on this, would he? Ooh, that is sphincter-clenchingly close. Ooh, okay, so I was reading your... asshole comment. <laughs> uh... Which is entirely true, by the way. I second and third that. Um, and I didn't realize that the floor gave way under me. I just assumed that I had died. Alright. Ah, and so we put this on the other thing. That should balance it out. Fox! You fox! You fox! You... Your death was inconsequential. Ah, yeah, I remember that next time you, uh... ...failed to save me from a rabid polar bear attack. I don't need you half as much as you think I... Quickly. Okay. Let's keep on keeping on. Damn it! Damn it. Damn you. Damn this. <laughs> oh god, I think I'm about to pull a fry and Lori. Damn! Blast! Tell blast and double damn with a side order of damn! Madgery. 
All right. Note to self. <laughs> Quoting a bit of Fry and Laurie is not conducive to good gameplay. Makes you suck super bad. Ah. Shit! Oh man. I think I'm going to accidentally subject this poor girl to every gruesome death that this game has to offer. Uh, okay. Oh god. You know, yeah, that is that is a particular trope that I know very well from this uh, uh, from this video uh, from video games in general uh, that has become you know super mainstream. The uh, great. The uh, you're going up to something and it breaks bef under you, but it doesn't quite break. Uh, I suppose the uh, the uncharted effect. Uh, but, uh, God damn it! if it doesn't get me every time. I can't help it. Alright, so, then do I brace? No, maybe do I brace? Okay, good. So it just shot me out there, just for shits and giggles. Come, use your tiny fox body to fuck up this house. Oh, is a bit of oh, is a bit disheartening. So other people are yelling at me, and I can't hear them. Although I suppose that's better because if people were yelling at me and I could hear them, then I suppose uh, damn it! <clears throat> I suppose I'd have to pay a visit to a psychiatrist. Okay. Oh yeah, the wind shifts really violently. Alright. Okay. Please hold. I need to time the jump. Alright. Let's keep on keeping on. This is tricky. I did not expect that. Shit! What's happening? Oh, this is absolute torture. Unfortunately, I love it. I believe there is... I think there is some small part of me that just wants video games to absolutely molest me with difficulty. Um, I have a feeling that that's why I still, against better judgment and several, several times people have told me not to, I still continue to play the original uh, Castlevania on the NES. I can't help it. I love it. I love it so much. And I have never beaten it. I have never even really seriously come close. Okay. Uh, I have fought death. Ah, uh, a couple of times I've come close to beating him. Huh. Um, I've made quick work of, you know, several other Castlevania games. Uh, but the first one, man. Goddamn. Come, come along. Oh, she just, uh, she just jumped automatically. Can she do that? Will that work? Holy shit. Oh, it's fire McPants with the, with the poopy 
Oh, I'll give it to you, all right? Oh, wow, I didn't really expect that to work. Holy shit! Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Ah, uh, Volgar. Oh, the the game with the... Oh, I adore that game. The, the Viking one. I love it. Oh, wait a minute. Did that... That was supposed to happen. That wasn't just another one of my many deaths. God damn it. At the beginning of this game, I said I wanted to play a nice, fun game that was heartwarming with no tragedy, but this game, this should just be called Tragedy The Game. The it's like, after I finished The Evil Within, somebody just went into all my deepest, darkest fears about the next game I'd be playing, and just decided to make a game about all of them. Son of a bitch. If that fox doesn't come back to life with some weird spirit miracle, I will be very angry. Okay. It wasn't a spirit at all. It was a it was, a, it was a kid in a furry suit. I mean, dude, I mean, I, hey man, I don't judge. Can you still do the... The spirit thing? Oh wow, that's a touchy subject. I, uh... <laughs> I, um... Shit. What was that? I missed that. Oh, pff, why would I not be him? He is now... immeasurably cooler. Sweet. Anyway, I've only ever had, like, one interaction with somebody who... Like, identified as... I really hope I'm saying that right, but a furry. Um... It wasn't even really an interaction. It was, uh, I... It was back, uh, when I was in high school. And, uh... My friends and I were doing a, uh... I guess it was like a coffee shop kind of thing? Right, okay, thanks. Uh, Aid of Life Faster. Good. All right, this must be your thing. Um, I, you know, I was, you know, younger, obviously. And, uh, uh, we were doing, like, it was like a coffee shop thing where I, uh, my friend played guitar, I played bass, we just jammed for a little bit, some people watched while they drank their coffee. I mean, it was pretty pretentious high school shit. I will admit that. But, um, can I not mess with you? Oh, I just have to use the... Okay. Well, at least I didn't die. Uh, anyway, and uh, I would like, occasionally we would finish a jam session and someone else would go on to start playing. And I would look out and uh, it was a, uh, it was like the sister of a friend of mine. And uh, she was wearing um, like cat ears and like large furry shoes. And it was just, I had just never seen anything like it. And like, that it was different, and I was, like, 18, so I was just like, Ugh, what's up with that? I play bass. I'm, I'm in a band. I'm cool. You're not cool. Like, asshole shit like that. And I kind of, like, wish, like, now that I'm older, I kind of wish that I just, like, went up and talked to her, like... I mean, there's no way that I can, a that I can like, be interested in something like that. I'm not interested in it, but, like, I want to know about it. But there's, like, no way that I can ask about it without sounding, like, awful. Like, hey, that's interesting. Why are you why you are? Like, I can't... 
but like, you know, I, I'm glad that I didn't, you know, I wasn't privy to like an insane social faux pas, but I, I kind of wish that I'd, I kind of wish that that's something that I know about. Alright. Alright, that was a bit of a tangent. And a really fucking odd one. Okay. Son of a bitch! It happens every time! Oh god, the fucking furry kid doesn't even want to look at me. Alright. Maybe up here? Of course. Uh, I'm I'm probably only uh, halfway through. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, absolutely. Those conversations never go well. But I'm like my like reason to have it is like it was. It's totally well intentioned. Like I'm interested in it. It intrigues me. But I totally get that. 99% of people who I say something like that to are like, wow, you're an asshole. Because it sounds so much like an asshole thing. In fact, uh... Oh, can you not? Oh. I'm gonna have to hold X for everything now. Eh, it's cool. That was a good shot. Don't look at me like that. Um. Oh god. You guys want to hear about a time that I, uh... Oh, interesting. Get here's in the first... Oh, okay. See, that just shows how completely ignorant I am of it. Apparently, it's not even... What I thought was a furry. Not a furry. I'd, uh... This is an odd conversation. Uh, and so, I really hope I didn't say anything offensive. If I did, shit. Hmm. Those tree branches are just there to fall, aren't they? Okay, good. Excuse me. I can't finagle this anymore. Oh, it's not even for that. I'm just going to have to hurl myself with the wind. Fuck! I have a little mini heart attack every time I see a tree branch break. Ugh. All right. Let me up, please. I wish to mount you. Spirit. Uh, okay. I dig weird conversations. I love weird. Weird is my favorite thing. Because I know that... I mean, unfortunately, I am st no matter what I do... When it comes to weird, I'm still an outsider looking in. Like... I had, like, a super... <laughs> I had, like, a super traditional met guy's guy dad. I can't... Like... <laughs> okay, this is a good story for uh, the first time that I tried alcohol. Uh, I was... I, did, I, I was barely... If I was ten, I'm sh I'd be shocked. Because I was barely... Son of a bitch! I was, um... Uh, barely, uh, barely, barely, uh, it's double digits, if that. Um, and my dad, uh, we are super, um, I suppose Eastern European. Uh, we're like super Russian Polacks. Like, that's, I did it again. See, I did it again. I knew I would, because talking... And just absentmindedly playing the video game leads to me disappointing you. 
Anyway, uh, we're from that, uh, I'm, I think, second generation, if that, uh, uh, from that area. And so my dad, uh, in his youth, drank a distressing amount of vodka. Um, and he wanted to share it with me. Because that's what you do when you love vodka. Uh, and so, uh, he went, like, he was finishing his shot, or glass of vodka, and he went, Austin, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna try this? And I, I probably, I was too young to, uh, to know that the, the weird smile on his face mean, no, don't do it, <laughs> don't try this. Uh, but I went, yeah, sure, Dad. Uh, and so I had a sip, just a small sip, uh, but it was enough to almost knock me flat on my ass. Uh, oh, how times have changed. But, uh, I went, <coughs> He's like, it's good, right? He's, I'm like, no, no, it's not good. And he said, and now I'm quoting. Uh, <laughs> don't be a bitch. <laughs> that is, <laughs> that is who my father was for the majority of my, uh, of my childhood. I laugh now, but my dad is not a funny guy. Um, I remember that. Uh, there were only two times in my entire life uh, that he ever like made me laugh out loud. Uh, oh man, if he ever watches this, I mean, he's probably not going to watch this, but if he does, I'm sorry. Um, the only two times that my father has ever made me laugh out loud, the first time was uh, we were at... I don't think it was a, I don't think it was um, a Wegmans, but it was definitely one of those like types of uh, like super grocery mega stores where you can find all kinds of shit. They buy things in bulk and then put all kinds of things on sale because they bought way too much shit and so and they got to move it somehow. So there was an incredibly weird sale on uh, marshmallow fluff. There was like those pyramids of stacked of uh, of jars of marshmallow fluff. And, uh, nobody, uh, was, uh, was going for it. It was, uh, people were like, uh, <laughs> it was like, uh, people were trying not to, like, make eye contact with it as they passed by. Uh, but my father, so uncharacteristically, went over to the marshmallow fluff, grabbed two gigantic armfuls of them, put them all in the cart, looked me in the eye, and said, your mother will never believe you. I died laughing, cause it was, just <laughs> and uh, all right, that one, that story wasn't so bad. The second, <laughs> the second time, uh, all right, he might, he might actually get a little, get a little salty about that, but uh, the second time, uh, was many years after that, when he, uh, went to a bar, and uh, drank, let's say, more than his share. Uh, a considerable amount more. And he called me and asked me to pick him up. This was, you know, years later I was driving at the time. Alright. This has gotten complicated. Can I make that? I think I can make that jump. Good, good. This way? Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, this is going to suck. No! <sighs> okay. That was, uh, an accident. I did not mean to actually make that jump. Anyway, uh, he asked me to pick him up. And so, I get, I get there, and he is like, he's like talking to all kinds of like people, asking them where they went to high school, just in case he went to high school with them. Uh, found somebody else who's from, like, the Ukraine-Poland area and starts making that ridiculous fake accent, like, huh. Or, no, 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 half of his, uh, half of our family is also from Ireland. And so, and so uh, he found somebody who also, uh, uh, comes from Ireland. He goes like, oh, to toy, to toy, to toy. I'm like, okay, we gotta go now. 
And, uh, so, he, uh, we get in the car, and we're driving back to our home. And he starts saying, like, holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Which, uh, I now realize is a desperate plea for help for some from someone who has had so much to drink that they can't ask for help from themselves. Um, so, uh, I go, yeah, 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 we're, we're almost home. Don't worry. And he go, <laughs> he says something that, uh, st has stuck with me for my entire life. Because it wasn't so much a sentence as it was a riddle. Something that needed to be deciphered. And I still don't really understand what it means uh, to this day. Uh, he, sa <laughs> he turned to me and he said, Boy? Yeah, because sometimes when he's feeling weird, he calls me boy. Uh, he says, I'm really glad you can't read my thoughts. Because if you could, you'd be really mad at me. <laughs> That's one of those things that somebody says something and you go, Okay. At the risk of asking another question about why, I think we're just going to spend the rest of this car ride in silence. Uh, to this day, that, that has gone undeciphered. Oh, here we go. <laughs> what an odd... What an odd selection of topics. No. <laughs> yeah, awkward is the word. But it wasn't super awkward. It was like, okay, alright, Dad. <laughs> it was one of those, uh... I don't know if anybody of you, uh... has had the, uh, the misfortune of, uh... Care of taking care of uh, someone who's unbelievably intoxicated. I had a. Uh, I was a, uh, you know, especially in high school, uh, until I actually very recently, I just gave this tree a soul. Sorry, I was messing with your branches. That must have hurt. Please don't exact bloody vengeance. I'm very small. Very squishy. Okay. So. Shit. What was I saying? Oh god! He knew! Oh god! <sighs> oh. He, he waited to exact bloody vengeance. It was the, the sideshow Bob style. Vengeance is the best dish served cold. Ah, shit. All the trees have souls now. I'm in hostile territory. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, but yeah. Uh... You know, mostly my high school days. I was, uh... I was one of those kids that everyone was like, Oh yeah, it's it's fuck, it's that guy. Like, uh... Wow, this is gonna be... This is gonna be weird. I don't think... I don't think I'm gonna have any problems talking about this stuff. I'm sure there's a statute of limitations for this kind of shit. But, uh... Have I missed my window? Oh god! Uh... Going for it. Okay. But, uh, I was, uh, I mean, let me just preface by saying that I don't do any any of this shit anymore. Um, in fact, aside from, uh, another member of Sentient Blender Productions, Ian, I am the soberest person I know. Uh, but anyway, I was that kind of person that, um, uh, Someone would like there'd be like a high school party going on, and they're like, "Yeah, we're gonna have all kinds of beer," and uh, everyone's like, "Oh yeah, Austin's coming." They're like, "Ah oh, shit, did we get enough?" Like that kind of. Ah oh, damn it. Uh, that kind of guy. But um, 
So uh, I have been in the situation of caring for people many times. Uh, I had a point. I had a point. I'm sure I had a point. Um, but yeah, I've, I have so many stories like that that I've been like trying to avoid talking about live. Um, because goddamn. I'm like, leave something to the imagination. But I'm sure that eventually I'll be, uh, I'll just be like on the stream and there'll be like dead silence and then I'll be like, so, anybody want to hear about the time I almost died? <laughs> it's, it's gonna happen. Although there are multiple times when I've almost died, so I could probably share one. Uh, although I'm gonna have to leave that for next time because this actually, this is running pretty long, I just realized. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, as soon as I get on dry land, I'm going to go. I'm going to go ahead and end it. I'm going to end it all. Oh shit! Not so quickly. Quickly! Oh no! Stay up. Keep your head above water. Come on! Do it! Do it for us! Oh god! <laughs> this is... <sighs> okay. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Alright. Yeah, I, uh... I, uh, I visited, I, yeah, I actually have to say I visited. I definitely wasn't the guest of fucking honor at any of these high school parties. I was just kind of like there, the fly on the wall that's getting all kinds of sh free shit. But, um, uh, um, I definitely, uh, in that, um, oh, it's you, you son of a bitch. We're gonna fight, or I'm gonna run away again. Uh, but in that, um, in those instances, uh, I definitely, uh, kind of developed an unfair bias of, uh, small, like, not small, but like, five foot and below high school girls, uh, under this, like, you know, this preconception that none of them can handle their liquor, uh, that thought, like, sincerely inhabited for me for, like, more than four years. Until I realized that that's just me being an asshole. Uh. Does it speak something to my character that... While I know he's the bad guy, I really want to be able to spit fire? Like... On my list of shit that I want right now, Save the World is now a distant second to be able to shoot fire from my hands. Oh god. See, I want to have such crazy fire powers that I can just throw them without even caring. Okay. Shit. Oh god, I have to bait him. Is that not what I <laughs> God damn it. Oh. Yeah, I know. Yeah, now everybody everybody says that like yeah, now I know my limits and like I get it now. Like that was just something I took evidence from a very small batch, uh, and, uh, and made it my, like, blanket statement for everybody. Oh, fire is super not good when it hits me. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this one more time. And then, uh, and then it's bedtime for Gonzo's. Okay. 
All right, preferably when I said one more time, I was expecting to win. So one, one, one more time. In case you were wondering, this is the one. Keep moving, keep moving. All right, so that does not, yeah, I have to get both of them. That's not a bridge. Damn it! Fire is now quickly going back down on my list of shit that I want in my life. I could I could really do without it now. Oh god. Oh. When I'm holding X, I can hit A again to make me move quicker. Doesn't help. Doesn't help though. Son of a bitch. Okay, this is the re, 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 re one. And if it is not, then I'm, then unfortunately we would have, we will have to end this episode with failure. Good. But failure is not an option. Come on. Throw up, so we're gonna have to go to the right quickly. No, the left. No, the other evasive maneuvers. Pretend like we know what we're doing. Duck, dive, duck, dodge, and, and also dodge. Yes! Oh yeah. If James Bond has taught me anything, it's that all heinous villains have one crazy thing, one inexplicable weakness. Alright. If you'll indulge me, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk some smack for a bit. Yeah, you suck it, fire guy. God, I suck at that. Why don't you eat snow? God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Heat seekers. That's adorable. Hey. Dude. Where's your face? Oh, there it is. Oh, that was your hair. That is a fashionable onesie, I gotta say. Okay, alright. Uh, man, I... God, I went... I think I ran long with this one, too. Uh, I think these kind of, like, indie games uh, give the illusion of... Uh, of, like, being quick and easy to pick up and play, but I think I was playing this game for, like, more than an hour. Uh, that being said, uh, well, we did make a lot of progress, because, which is good, because I'm hoping to finish this before, uh, the 20th, uh, because I want to play that sweet Resident Evil, because I've never played it, the original. Uh, anyway, uh, everybody who is watching, uh, thank you. You guys are the best.